What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. It helps a lot. So today, I'm going to be showing you guys the cards I'm going to be submitting to PSA. We have a few right here. Let's do it real quickly. We got a Marvel card. We got a Spider Gwen. This is a bronze, precious metal from 47 to 199. I'm hoping to get a 10 on this, but once again, with PSA, you have no idea what you're going to get, but. That's the first card we're going to submit. Second one is <laughs> one of my favorite rookie cards. We have LeBron rookie, Carmelo and D Wade on the same card. Probably going to get, I don't know. I guess you can do a guess your grade thing, but I'm going to say, I'll, I'll, <laughs> I want a 10 on all of them. Let's just, let's, that's the first wish, but I doubt it. Let's, let's just say this gets a 10, maybe a nine. I don't know. Let's hope. We got a magic card here. This isn't uh super duper rare, but it's an alpha card. On uh, pretty good condition. It's kind of off-centered, but living wall, alpha. And then we got this tops rip card. This is one of my favorite basketball cards because this isn't their rookie year. It's from 2007, I believe. But it's a rip card. Numbers from 70 to 99. It has obviously one of the best people from the 2003 draft class. And you can rip it and pull something better, but I don't know. This card is just so sick. It has the, oh yeah, it has the, I forgot, the iconic 1980s uh, art. The tops art with the iconic players. So you can't go, this is so cool. I'm hoping for a 10 of that one, but we don't know what to get. Let's just see. He's hoping for a good grade on these cards. All right. And the last two cards, pretty the same. <clears throat> we have Blue Eyes White Dragons, LOB first editions, but one's from Europe, as you can see the E, and one is from Australia. But yeah, the Australia one is decent condition, the edges they're definitely played with. And same thing with this one, off centered, played with, but the LOB first edition, I want to see what what I get. I'm definitely not going to get tens on these. I'm assuming I'm going to get like a two or three on this one, honestly. And that's being nice. And I'm probably going to get maybe a four. Who knows? Let's see. But yep, these are the cards I'm planning on submitting. I'll see you guys when I get the art back. And just like that, they came back from grading. All right, let's see. I guess we just start like that, huh? All right, here we go. First card was a spider going. Oh, I did it kind of explode. Wow, this is nice in the case. Kind of solid, we got an eight. <sighs> Which I kind of figured. Um, the card is, I mean, I, I would obviously expect a 10, but you know, they will never hand out a 10 here. It's just too hard to get a 10 these in this. Just in this in the, these days. <clears throat> uh, this is a bronze. So a bronze is out of 199. You guys saw it right here. Uh, I think the purple one, which is out of five, just sold for like 15,000, 18,000. I can't remember, but this thing's crazy. So I just decided to get this graded. At eight, I'm happy. It was great. Spread of Gwen. That's the only precious metal gem I have from the pile. The next two cards, oh yeah, are the Yu-Gi-Oh ones. So we got a four. Nice. I definitely didn't think I was getting a 10 on this one. I got a four. Makes sense. Oh, Jesus. Is that dirty? <laughs> Thank you. I mean, I thought I was going to get like a two or something. I forgot, but dang. Lucky number four. Nice. The, Eng the Europe European first edition. Next one is, I believe, the Asian one. Or sorry, Australian one. <clears throat> wow, we also got a four. Nice, but I thought this was gonna be a little worse condition. This one has a bad, actually no, oh man. Wow, no complaints on, this is the first time I'm happy to get a four. You'll never be see, you'll never see me be excited about a four, but I really thought these cards were gonna get, they look much nicer in the case, but yeah, no, <laughs> I'm sure you guys, we saw it together. These cards, they're really rough. But yeah, all right. 
Alright. And then what should I do this magic card? We got a seven on the alpha card. Makes sense. It's really off-centered. Just a little bit of stuff in the back, but I'm happy with the seven. It's the first time grading a magic card. Living wall. So the last two cards <clears throat> are my favorite submissions or my favorite basketball cards that I submitted, but I'm happy. So I saw these grades earlier uh, where I saw I got the email. So I kind of have an idea. So one of them I'm really happy about, one I'm kind of disappointed about. Well, I'm really happy about this one. This one, it's supposed to be a 10. I feel like I got a nine, which is really cool, I guess. It's the best grade, I think, in the whole entire pile. It's the, obviously the Fleer Tradition with the rookies, LeBron. Carmelo and D-Wade. O3's. One of the greatest draft. But, uh... <laughs> I never spent so much on a raw card. I forgot how much I spent. It's a little off-center in the back. I'm assuming that's why I got the 9. But dang, man. I really thought I was going to get a 10 on this one. I'm happy about it. <clears throat> so now, what I'm really annoyed about... This is very annoying. This is probably, like... The most disappointing thing. This is probably my favorite card. I told you guys why. Because it's... Uh, I don't want you guys to get spoiled. You got the... I, I, I don't know if the people who saw the earlier in the video. It's the late 1980s Tops Edition. But instead of... None of them are rookies, obviously. But it's a rip card. But it has... It has the O3s. One of the best uh, draft classes from O3. And then if you look on the back. It's unripped. Number to 99. Son, I just really like this card. So what do you guys think I got on it? It looks so nice. Corners. Smooth. I don't know. <clears throat> I'm not a professional grader, obviously. But look, centering is great. Corners are good. Surface is clean. Look at the center. Like, it's a clean card. Pack fresh, practically. It is. Same thing on the back. Centering is obviously not good centering, but it's a rip card. And just a, like a little indentation. Because obviously it's a rip card. <laughs> You guys ready to see this grade? I got a six. And that's a dress. So it's so disappointing. I love this. I love the submission. It was cool. It was fun. I did not think I was gonna get a six on this card. A seven I would have been a tad bit more disappointed, a tad bit less disappointed. But this is just come on. How? Only cool about that number is this is his Miami Heat number. Other than that, that's alright. What's, what's stupid? I'm probably gonna crack this, but. <sighs> yeah, I got a six. Still cool. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. We'll figure it out. Maybe another video I might. But we got this, the nine. Happy with that one. We're gonna see the rest of the cards that we submitted today. We got. Yeah, we got the spider going. Beautiful card. Then we have. The Blue Eyes White Dragons, the European. Australian. Then we got the Magic Living Wall. And the last two cards is the number six, <laughs> or the created six, the great six, and then the nine, Fleer Tradition. This card's pretty cool. I hope you guys enjoy this PSA return submission video. I'll catch you guys next Sunday. Peace.